Has anyone had any interest in learning a second a second language besides me? I thought so. And it's, and it's one of those second languages happen to be the same as the same as the one I'm studying, Japanese. Good. Um, um, then um, I would like to um, share with all of you about my about how I um, got into this second language and how it and how it affected me as as an American as an African American. Um, when I was doing uh, doing research, I uh, uh, um, during the um, ancient times in Japan, um, as I've come to find out when I was studying Japanese, is that China is that China was um, um, offering um, Chinese characters to the people in Japan so that um, so that um, they can like use it use it in their own way of giving it um, individual meanings like two uh, one or two meanings like for example in fact this kid in fact, the characters that the Japanese called it is called kanji. And here's an example. This means month. Moon. And um, th this is Gatsu and Suki. Suki is for moon, and Getsu and Gatsu is for month. A month of the year. And as for this, is. This is he or or be. And it means and it means the sun. And day. And over time it became and over time, during the ancient times in Japan, it became a little bit too much, very similar to the Chinese characters. So they decided. So they decided to uh, um, invent um, an individual language alphabet, alphabet system called the uh, Manyogana, which which is known as today as the Kana system. And the um, first, and as you can see from this chart, the um, the first um, five, the first five letters of the here are the here done. and over top, and the one on the right is the katakana. Now hiragana is what forms the native Japanese language. And as for the katakana, it forms foreign language. For example, as you see, as you can see here. Excuse me, uh, Malcolm. Sorry about that. This 
is, um, this means thank you. And the way to pronounce that is a little help from another system called Romaji. And what that is, is the pronunciation of, of the kind of system. I put in O here is because it's because it's it's uh it's a long vowel, a long vowel sound. And whenever you have um these, it indicates that there's another another kind of character that needs to be used. And as I was um, continuing on with them, um, learning my um, learning the Japanese language, I would also notice that it's affect it's also affected my uh, uh, how um, it affects my brain space. The more I learned this language, the more the more I began to feel like my mind is open to a lot more around, around me. Like I'm able to understand what the uh, other person is saying in another language. And really, the alphabet really is the, really is the start for me. And as for, and, um, As for the, uh, how the, um, um, how it um, how um, as a fan of anime and manga, I'm going to have more of a deeper appreciation appreciation for the Japanese culture and the arts because the way they use it they use the um, alphabet is not it's not like the, the way we use it here so it makes it all the more unique and all the while interesting for me and and I and Um, I began to um, read, and I tried to read some of the titles of an anime show, shows and original kind of characters. For example,
Can anyone take a guess what that means? This is This is a lot for for you all to take in, especially for me because I make a very bad teacher <laughs> and all. And uh, but I just wanted to give you the basics and a little history of of my my. I mean, for a long time, I've always wanted to learn the language since I was little until 2000, 2015 where I actually started learning the language and it was from a little book called Jap Japanese from Zero and a few chapters in I managed to get through okay but a few chapters later I kind of lost um kind of got lost. So I got bought another book called Basic Japanese and I managed to get through a lot more than the previous one and again I kind of lost track on that. So I bought this book and Japanese in, in 30 days and I managed to complete it all the way through. This is the first book I managed to complete all the way through and it, it made me feel like I was able to accomplish something if I show enough dedication to it. So what I want you all to take from this is, is that um, learning, a language, learning a second language is hard, but if you show enough dedication and determination and a lot of heart and passion into, into learning it, you can, you can pretty much do any, anything in the world. It doesn't really matter who or what what ethnicity or what what country you're from. It doesn't matter as long as you are passionate about the language or if you want to learn more about a culture like I am right now about Japanese. And um, you can be able to discover someone as well. So um, 